Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom MIDI note names in Reaper. Now, for the most part, this is going to apply to drum sounds, but really, it'll work with any MIDI instrument, but it tends to make more sense for drums, as you'll see. So, the track in front of us here, let's add an instrument to this track. Hit the effects button. Go to Instruments, and then down over here, there's a plugin called Easy Drummer, which is a virtual drum instrument. We could play our kick, snare, toms, and our cymbals. Now, the reason I picked this instrument is it's one of the ones I have that doesn't import the MIDI note names but we could do that ourselves. Let's record a part. So now if we want to edit that part, we would double click it, and by default, it opens up in our piano roll. Here's our kick, here's our snare, our crash, and our ride. Now looking at the keyboard over here isn't that helpful. It would be better if we saw what sounds were being triggered. Now again, I chose Easy Drummer just because the MIDI notes or the drum sounds don't show up here automatically. Now for drum sounds or similar, instead of using the piano roll, I'd recommend right clicking up here Go to View and change it to Named Notes instead of Piano Roll, which can be triggered on the PC by hitting Alt 2 or the Mac hitting Option 2. And if we choose that, these will change to Named Notes. But if you notice, they're blank. Let's make this bigger. So it's still not very helpful. What we could do is select all the notes by right clicking. We'll just choose a note right here, which is our kick, and then go up here and right click, go to the file menu, and go down here to note names. From here, we could rename the current note. So if we choose this, it shows up right here, allowing us to name it. So we'll name it kick, and it shows up here instead of the MIDI number, which is more useful. So we know our kick is right over here. And we can right click to choose them all at once. Number 38 is our snare. We could select it, go up here again, right click, go to the file menu, go to note names, and rename it. Name it snare. And we could do that to every sound in our preset. Now there's a quicker way of doing this. We can go up here for our crash and double right click, and then we can rename it right here. We'll name it Crash, and 51 is the ride. If we scroll over, we hit some toms over here. So we can name those as well. Tom 1, Tom 2, Tom 3, and Tom 4. And now all the notes we played have been named, but there are a few we haven't played yet, so we want to go through and name them all. But first, let's save this. So we'll go up here, we'll right click, go to File, Note Names, and we can save note names to a file. And it's going to save it to a folder in our Reaper folder called MIDI Note Names. We'll name it Easy Drummer, and it creates a file that we can recall later. Now, if we go to our directory to find that file, it looks like this. It's a text file. So we can open up and edit this file in any text editor. And it looks like this. 
It's just simply text with the number for each MIDI note and the name that goes with it. So 51 is ride, 49 is crash, and so on. So we could play our MIDI keyboard and figure out which MIDI note number goes with each sound. So if I play C sharp three on my keyboard, it's a side stick. And we can see it down here lighting up. So I know it's 37. So you just go right here, type in 37 and side stick. And do the same thing with all the sounds in the preset. Like another cowbell is 56. So I could type that in and I can go through and do each sound from this preset. I already went through and did this, so I'm just gonna paste it in. But you should also know, if you search around on the internet, you could probably find the custom MIDI note names for the instrument that you're using. Just select it all and paste it. And here are all the sounds for the Easy Drummer instrument. So I could save it and close it. And I can go back here in Reaper and just load it in. Right click, go to File, Note Names, Load Note Names from File, and choose the file we just saved. All the note names show up right here, making it a lot easier to edit our drums. And another thing that'll make it easier is to right click up here, go to View, and go down here to Show Hide Note Rows, and choose this Hide Unused and Unnamed Note Rows. So if we choose this, all we're gonna see are the notes that we named. So it makes it a lot easier and a little less cluttered to edit. We could still zoom in, but when we zoom out, all we see are the note rows from the note names that we gave custom names to. So we can go through and edit this a lot easier knowing that this is the ride and the crash and our snare and our kick. Tom one. If you want to switch it to Tom 3, just bring it down and follow the note name. Now one of the problems with this is when we're done, we want to start a new project by creating a new track. And if we add Easy Drummer, we record a part. If we double click it now, it opens back up, but it's still empty. So now we have to manually load in those names. So we can right click, choose file, note names, and load them in manually. But that's a bit slower. A much quicker way of doing this is to save it as a track template. So let's name this track Easy Drummer. Right click it, save tracks as track template, give it a name. Let's delete this one. And now, if you want to use that drum instrument, we can just right click, insert track from template, and go to Easy Drummer. That opens it up. We can play our part. And now if we double click our MIDI item, it opens up exactly how we want it to, with all our names over here, making it much easier to edit it. If we want to change one of our sounds, maybe our snare, just right click it and move it to a side stick. And that changes that sound. And it's a lot easier to do when we see the sounds right here. Change it to a rim shot. It's a lot easier with the custom MIDI note names being used. So that's pretty much it. That's custom MIDI note names in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!